Hey there Wargamers and welcome back to another Wargames Delivered video. In this video, we're going to be speed painting over metallics. Let's get started. Alright, so to start this video off, we base the miniature black. Uh, I know in most of the videos we have done recently with the Song of Ice and Fire miniatures, um, we've done a lot of zenithal priming on those, but I wanted to show off what we can do here with just a simple black uh, base coat uh, on the model. So we're going to start off with our gunmetal. And uh, we're going to go ahead and dry brush this over the entirety of the model, except for the gun. Um, this is going to be our mid-tone, basically. Uh, this is just building up the color here. And you'll want to leave some of the shadows uh, entirely black, as much as you can at least. Um, and this will just create an awesome transition across the model once it's finished. And as usual with your dry brushes, just uh, go ahead and take your time. Um, try to apply an even amount of uh, paint to each part of the model here since this is going to technically kind of be a base coat. Uh, and uh, yeah, just keep on going until you have a nice even coat across the entire model. And I'm using the smallest Army Painter uh, dry brush, the smallest one that they have available. Uh, and that's because there's some kind of hard to reach areas around the gun. Um, and just on the model, there's a lot of divots and, and areas, so I wanted to use the smallest one I had to get uh, the most amount of detail and uh, get into those hard to reach areas a little bit easier than, than the larger dry brushes. And as you can kind of see, the way I'm doing it here is I'm just working in one general area uh, at a time and then moving on to the next area here. So. Um, once I finished up everything on that leg, I worked around the leg, and then now we're moving on to the arm. And that's just the way I like to dry brush uh, large areas like this, especially models that are going to be 90% uh, you know, dry brush this color. So this is just a good method, for me at least, to kind of keep track of what's done and what's not. And these Necron Warrior sculpts have a ton of uh, detail just in their sculpts. Uh, they take to dry brushing really well. Um, that's why it's such an easy army for people to, to start painting right away is it's pretty much just these three steps and then some green stuff on the on the eyes and the gun and you can call it a day. And yeah, we'll just keep working this around the entire model. Um, sometimes it's nice to finish everything up and then go back and just look at what else you think needs done. Uh, touch that up a bit and then um, you know, just kind of give the model a once over before you switch over to the next step. I, I typically do that uh, with every step, um, just something to keep in mind. You know, if, if you have any mistakes or anything you need, you need fixed, um, it's always a good idea to go ahead and fix that up before you switch over to the next step because in my case, I'm forgetful and I'll forget that I made a mistake <laughs> until, you know, the model's done. Uh, so something to keep in mind. As you can see here with those two steps, we've gotten some pretty good depth and shadow on the model here. I'm actually not going to go for a wash on him, uh, which is a little bit strange. I typically go for a, a wash on every single model, but I'm just kind of trying to show you uh, what effect we're going for here. So we're going to switch over to the Pallid Bone and Speed Paint Medium, uh, kind of a one-to-one -one ratio here. And with this, we're going to go over all of the panels on the arms and legs uh, and certain parts over uh, the body of the model as well. And with this step, you can really add as much or as little uh, to the parts that you want to uh, change the color of as you'd like. Um, I like to go with a thinner coat to start off to kind of just get an idea of what it's going to do to the model uh, before I add a, another coat or do a really thick coat. So that's just kind of um, the way I like to kind of plan out my models is, is sometimes I'll try something out but do a very thin coat first just to kind of see what it will look like eventually. Uh, so in this case, I did use a thinned down uh, speed paint medium um, blended version of this, but I would really just kind of use the pallid bone next time. Uh, I did use two coats uh, after this one dried, and that was pretty much the color that I was looking for. And when you're working with your speed paint like this and you want to uh, avoid getting it on um, any of the detail you had earlier, it's nice to have a semi damp brush and a dry brush not an actual dry brush, a dry space brush, <laughs> handy. Uh, that way you can, um, you know, wipe away the uh, excess speed paint that you don't want in those areas. 
And I'm sure I've mentioned this before in previous videos, but you can really do this with any color of speed paint uh, to get the, the same effect. Um, you can really thin them down and paint them over metallics to kind of have that metallic shine through. I do plan on doing a couple other videos on this in the future, uh, featuring some, uh, some Marvel characters, uh, but I don't want to spoil anything too much. And uh, I'm kind of going by the uh, Cesarican paint scheme here for the Necrons, but um, I mean, I'm not going one to one to them. I'm kind of just uh, just winging it and filling in the spots that I think would look cool on the model. Uh, and that's something that you can do with any model. Uh, you're not uh, restrained to how the how the faction looks. You know, they're at the end of the day, they're your models. You paid for them, and you can paint them however you'd like. And as you can see, you can have a very nice, awesome uh, metallic very quickly with a little speed paint over top. Um, and the last step here that we're going to do, just to brighten the model up a little bit, is another uh, silver highlight, this time with shining silver because it's a little bit brighter. Uh, and we're going to do this over just like the raised areas of the model uh, and just add that um, sheen back to the model a little bit here. So as you can see here, it's going to add a little bit of a, uh, a brighter color to it and that's exactly what we're going for. And you could also highlight this with uh, a very bright gold instead of the shining silver here. Uh, that would just kind of give this gold area a bit more of a uh, orange tinge to it rather than uh, this, this bluish silver highlight. And the Army Painter has a lot of great metallic colors, blues, greens, reds, purples, all kinds of that. Um, so there's a lot of variety and options that you can do uh, with this technique and with the options that you have with the Army Painter. And we'll close out the video with our finishing shots here. As always, thank you guys for watching and be sure to check out the top link in the description for the giveaway link and happy wargaming.